But you know what? Life is 10% what happens and 90% how you take it. Because what happens is pretty much the same for all of us, right? Did this recession happen to everybody, right? I mean, I see change creates opportunity, all right? Whether it's this kind of change, this kind of change, this kind of change, there's always opportunity. So we have to look for it. This is true for all of us. We need to look for the opportunities and take advantage of them and do it better than our competition, right? Even if there is only so many, you know, so much business to go around, well, I'm going to do it better, right? I'm going to do it better than the next guy and the next gal, and I'm going to get, you know, my fair share, like, you know, 100%. You know, <laughs> you know, you stay in it, you stay in it, you stay in it, and you learn more, you learn more, and you learn more. And your results, once you, um, it's like uh, Brian Tracy calls it the law of integrated intelligence. When you get good at one thing, you produce certain results. You get good at two things, then you'll produce, you know, so two, one plus one equals three, right? Then you get good at three things, and these are all important parts of whatever it is that you do, and you start getting good at, what if you're good at everything? Then... Bam, right? The results go way up and you get, um, you know, you you start achieving things that you never thought were possible. You know, I figure, hey, we're only going to be here once, right? If you plot out your life on a timeline, right? This is interesting. And you say, all right, I spent this many years in elementary school. I spent this many years in high school. I had this much in college. I didn't go to college, but... um, we have this much in my first job and this much in my second job. This, and here I am now. Okay? I have all these things that I want to do, but look at this. I'm almost out of time. Puts a perspective on it. You better get moving if you're going to make your mark for you, for your family, for the people around you. Right? You have to have the guts to step out of your comfort zone and try something. Because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. And that's part of growth. You know, so often we, we defend everything we've done in the past, which makes it harder to change, right? Because we go around saying, well, I did this because this, and this is the right way, and this is how I did it, because, 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 because. Because we, we, we're afraid that if, that if we change, we'll look bad because of pride and ego, right? We don't want to look bad. And that stops us from changing. So remember, the past does not equal the future. You can't change the past. You can learn from it, but you can't change the past. You can, however, change the future. How? By changing what you're doing right now. There's no other way. Now, and it's gone. Now, and it's gone. It will never be someday. It will never be one day. There's only now, right? There's only right now. So what are you going to do that's different so you can produce different results? Because if you do what you always did, you'll get what you always got, right? You have to behave like the company that you want to be. You have to behave like the person that you want to be. You have to visualize exactly what is, you know, if if you could wave a a magic wand over your career or over your company and it would be just the way you wanted it, you know, sprinkle some pixie dust, it is done. What would that look like? Exactly, what would that look like? And once you get a clear vision of that, how you'd walk, talk, act, behave, hang out, what would you do? Why would your customers come to you? Then you just step into that person. You think about that every day. And you step into that person, and you'll find you can become that person so much faster. When you decide who is it, what would they do, and you start behaving like that person.